Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to another tutorial on programming essentials in Python. This is the fifth and the last video in the functions video series. In this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate the use of the recursion concept. So basically, what function recursion means? Func recursion is a common mathematical and programming concept. It's very beneficial concept uh, because it enables the user to loop through data within uh, through function data to reach a specific result it is very useful yet it is very dangerous because users can reach uh, or can let's say a loop many times through, through the function without reaching the result which consumes the memory of the computer and sometimes it causes an infinite loop which means the function will never terminate so you have to be very careful when you apply the recursion what recursion means basically recursion means the function can call itself several times in order to reach a specific value one of the common examples and applications to the recursion is the Fibonacci sequence that can be solved in function recursion anyway in this example and this tutorial we are gonna demonstrate a much simpler example of recursion just to demonstrate how uh, the recursion is going to be applied and used. So we are going to start by defining a function and we are going to say define fun and it's going to take a variable let's say call it k variable it could be anything any variable and then we're going to uh, write this function body if the value of k is greater than 0 then we are going to say r equals k plus and we are going to call the function with a value of k minus 1 it's just like the loop. We are going to cause this condition uh, to get false so the function will terminate. So if k, if k is greater than or equal 0, let's just leave spaces or oh, just keep it like this. We are going to say r equals k plus fun of k minus 1. And then we are going to print the k, the value of k. So when we run the function, you see the values and you understand how the recursion works. And now else if the value of k is not greater than 0 which means 0 because eventually it's going to reach 0 because you are going to document it by 1 you're going to say r equals 0 and then after the f you're going to return the value of r okay so now we are going to call the function you can call it with any value but we are going to call it with the value of 3 okay just to make the execution is simpler so how the recursion basically is going to work so I'm gonna print screen I'm gonna put this in paint just to demonstrate the how recursion is gonna work basically this is going to be control C delete and control V we are gonna just okay let me just put this like that okay uh, again I'm gonna just go to new and then control V now it's gonna be obvious so first of all uh, let me uh, try to write on this I'm gonna select the red color at the beginning we said the value of K is going to be sorry the value of K is going to be 3 so we're gonna start with this value so now K is greater than 0 we're gonna reach here it's gonna R equals K plus function minus of k minus 1 so we are going to call the function and this time it's going to be r equals k plus function k minus 1 and this this time k is going to be 2 okay and then we are going to call it one more time with this k equals uh, or k plus function k minus 1 and so on it's going to be 2 1 and then r equals k plus function of k minus 1 each time k is uh, deduced by uh, 1 so this this function here or this call here I'm not uh, here it's just a simplification basically the whole block should be written here but now when we reach this value we are gonna go back and execute the functions that were holded in the computer memory until we reach basically this value so basically here uh, the value of r is going to be 0 and this is 1 so the value of r is going to be 1 and then the value here is going to be 1 plus 2 it's going to be 3 then 3 plus 
sorry uh, three here because here is going to be three and here is going to be one you see one one k is two one plus two is going to be three and here three and the value of k is a three three plus three is going to be six so then uh, this is how it's going to be executed and let me show you the results of the execution f5 as you can see here we started with one and then one plus two is going to be three actually and uh, three if you have another value it's going to be six and then it's going to be ten of course if you change this to four you're going to see what i mean you see uh, uh, basically uh, this is the results of uh, basically we have a problem here we, we should print r not k so we see the result not the value of k now uh, you are going to see the results as I mean it so you see 1 then 3 then 6 then 10 as explained here 1 then 3 then 6 this is if the value is 3 uh, and if the value is 4 it's going to be 10 if the value is 5 it's going to be it's going to continue adding you see uh, this is if it's going to be if it's 3 this is going to be the value 1 plus 3 then 3 plus 3 6 then 6 plus 4 10 and you can continue if you want to write 5 this is going to be 1 as you can see here let me show you uh, sorry I will just open it so 1 and then 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 6 is going to be 21 and so on so this is basically the application of regression you see you call the function until you reach the stop condition which is this one here because if you go else you're not going to execute this you're going to execute the else and then you return r and then you go back the first thing you're going to return r which is 1 and then you're going to return r which is 3 and then you're going to return r which is 6 because these function calls are holded in memory when you reach the stop value it's going to execute backward anyway it is very important concept uh, very beneficial as I said however it's not that simple you need to practice in order to understand this concept but basically this is generally a, a very quick tutorial and concise tutorial about recursion well, we might uh, go through s other examples and recursion in later videos. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. See you in other videos, inshallah.